Hi Peas, it's Liz Karchner with another video for the In the Mood to Scrap series. For this month I started with my photos and then I began gathering inspiration for a bright fun layout. When I was looking for inspiration, I was looking for something to jumpstart my whole process. It was a really busy month and I just needed something to get me excited about creating. And I looked for pictures that had bright color combinations. I loved the cake just with a lot of white and then the pop of color. And as well as just the fun, playful pictures with the bike and the ice cream. And pretty soon I just started getting excited of how to mix patterns and color and just the overall design. After I had my mood board set, I decided to gather some products. This is a cut from the silhouette, as well as some wood veneer pieces, some painted cork stickers. I gathered some of my Dear Lizzie little stickers and then some thickers from American Crafts. And I love this uh, mix of pieces from Crate Paper. Some gold stars. This is Amy Tan's um, stitchery kit and some Dear Lizzie stickers and little plastic flowers. I grabbed some vellum. I want to use that for my journaling. And then some of my Dear Lizzie Lucky Charm collection papers. I just gathered just a mix of colors. And also just some of my go-to tools, some Miss stamps and the Tim Holtz stapler. I this is a cut from Silhouette. It's actually a card that's about 3x3, three three, but I enlarged it to about 8x8, eight eight, and then I cut off the last row of circles. So I'm going to um, spread those out and put the photo in between. So I'm going to set that aside, and then I'm going to start working on all the little circles to go inside the cut. I just gathered a mix of different patterns with stars and chevron, some plain um, solid color and polka dots. And then I'm going to um, embellish the circles with different buttons and some of the cork pieces and brads. I'm just going to layer those on top of each other. And then uh, with some flare and stickers. And I'm just going to really just have fun just messing with the um, layering all the different embellishments. I wanted one of the circles to be journaling and so I opened up in Photoshop CS5 and I used the um, shape tool and made a circle that's two inches round and then I used my text tool and filled in the journaling in the circle and then I used my two inch punch and punched that out so I could layer that on one of the pattern papers and so it could still just be cohesive with the whole circle design. I added my title already so I could know where I wanted the round circles to go. And eventually I'm going to attach the circle cut paper with um, foam dots so that kind of sits off the page a bit. I wanted the paper to be to stand out a little more so I put it on a striped background. That way it'll just pop a little more. But then I still liked the white on white especially once you get some of these circles inside then it stands out a little more and just all areas of my life right now I love white on white in my home I love white and it's just something about it that's so fresh and clean and it's just really nice and help since all the papers are super busy it helps tone it down a bit and I can still have lots of fun with all the patterns I'm just going to continue adding the circles and the pattern paper and different pieces there until I um, get everything organized how I like it. Uh, after I took off the circles, I set them aside and then I added some droplets to the background with some Mr. Huey. And for the larger droplets, I just used the eyedropper tool from Studio Calico. And if when I want to get smaller ones, I just take out the nozzle and just use that. And I used a red, I think it was pretty, actually I think it was pretty pink, and then the gold from Mr. Huey. I love to use this Amy Tan piercing tool with her stitch kit and use it to attach my brads. I just love because it's small and I can just slide it under there and then 
pierce the holes. And then I'm going to add my brads and button and flower. I'm also going to add some stitching around the circle. I didn't have pattern paper in this particular one, so I thought it would look nice to um, add some thread just to help it stand out. I also added some stitching with my sewing machine on the top left corner. The next thing I noticed on my layout, the design really takes up most of the page. And I decided that the only thing missing was just more of the story. And I really wanted to share more about our day and more thoughts about just being at the carnival, which is one of our favorite summer traditions. And so I printed off um, five more 4 by 6 photos and a journaling card with a couple more photos from Instagram on that. And then I added a sticker and sewed on that as well and added some stamping, some date stamps. But I wanted to just tell more of our story, like I said, and share more about this fun day at the carnival. And what I did is it's all put together in this 6x12 page protector from American Crafts where you can see more of the photos and the journaling. And then this will just sit inside my album, just right on top of the page. Thanks so much for watching this series in the Mid to Scrap and my video today. And if I could, I would just challenge you to try to include different size page protectors in your albums. It's a really fun way to include your kids' artwork and all different sorts of memorabilia or just extra photos and journaling like I did today. Thanks so much.